when did the bully go too far? In middle school I moved into a new neighborhood and didn't really know anyone. I started hanging out with these two kids, and within a few weeks I invited them over to have a camp out in my yard. I was asleep in the tent, and woke up to something smothering my face. Both of them were naked, and were rubbing their buds all over my face. I freaked out, and ran inside. I told my mom, who told their parents and the next day in the school bathroom one of them found me, and joke slammed me into the wall for telling. He got detention for that. But they continued to bully me at school, and in our neighborhood for years. 7th grade. He took a thick piece of metal wrapped it with electrical tape and hid my friend in the head. He had to get stitches, but wouldn't say out of fear who did it. I ratted him out. A day later he jumped me as two of his friends held my arms. Then he stole my bike. My mom went to talk to his dad who was drunk and hit on her. So she left frustrated. A few days later he tried to jump me again, while on my bike. When I was at the ice cream truck but my older, in high school, brother saw it. He literally jumped down three flights of stairs from the third FL of our apartment complex and literally grabbed the back seat of the bike and picked it up as he tried to pedal away. He was freaking out screaming and my brother beat the crap out of him. <laughs> Bullied by a teacher. I grew up in the 1980s and there was something wrong with my digestive system that doctors here didn't understand at the time. Parents and friends were aware that sometimes I needed a toilet without much warning for either vomit or poo. I could easily dose off sometimes and always had a crampy tummy. First week of high school, I needed to go. Now, I asked the teacher if I could be excused. She said I was old enough to be able to hold it in. I tried to explain that I needed to go. She was all boohoo. The baby needs a nappy. The baby needs burping. Some friends tried to explain to the teacher that, if I had to go, I had to go. Teacher said no, I couldn't hold anything in anymore, and made for the door. The teacher shouted something, and I passed out, vomited and shat myself. From what I remember, dad had to hold mum back from beating the crap out of the teacher, who was then fired. School policy was changed, so that if a kid needed a loo break, they got it. Ironically there was an increase of TP related thefts and bathroom vandalism. I spent a week in hospital, being prodded and poked. We found out what was wrong. I went back to school. Some kids pointed and laughed at the kid who pooped herself in maths, but they were quickly silenced by my friends and some kids who I didn't even know. Kansas City, Missouri in a parking lot across the street from the peanut on Main. I lived in an apartment a block and a half away, and a guy started bullying me who is a head taller than I was. He ran a pizza place down the street, got drunk every night, before he came home. His apartment was right across from mine. He chased me over to the parking lot, and had been harassing me for weeks. I started moving backwards and he started coming forward, and I stepped into the biggest right hook and hit him so hard he collapsed right there. I went back to my apartment and apparently he lost his keys during the scuffle, and passed out on the concrete stairs in front of his door. The next morning my girlfriend, and I got up, to leave for work and the whole left side of his face was black and blue. That was the best effing punch of my life. I had two very serious incidents happen to me when I was a kid. One time when I was maybe 7 or 8, a kid in my class forced my hand into an outlet while holding a steel pin. I didn't get shocked, but the light went out. Years later when I was 11 or 12, the kid next to me in class stabbed my leg with a sharpened pencil. I was trying to hold in a fart at the moment and I farted as a response. Everyone laughed at me, while not knowing what happened. I'm 24 now and this is why I hate kids. When we were in the showers at Pet, and he shoved me into the wall, and said you have to be naked to be in the showers I was naive, and didn't want to get in trouble, so I stripped down. Him and his buddies all laughed, and make jokes about me. Then he said you better not drop the soap. At that age I had no idea what that meant. This kid was supposed to be 3 grades above me, and got held back, because he was an imbecile. It's all kinda trauma at this point. Was nerdy in middle school, had this guy constantly picking on me, but one day he took my glasses and smashed them on the ground. My mother had bought them for me, and they were her last memory I had. Rage took over me, and I smashed that guy's mouth with my fist couple of seconds and I was sitting on top of him poking holes in his belly with my pen and at the same time punching his face hardest I could. The whole class had to pull me back. I know it was too impulsive of me, but they deserved it. P.S. Last year I found my mother's diary, 
so I have something else to have my emotional baggage on. My siblings and parents made fun of me for being fat to the point that, even when I lost so much weight that it hurt to stand, no fat on feet, and sit, no fat on butt, I thought I needed to lose more. You could see every one of my ribs, my entire collarbone, my cheekbones, everything. Looking back, it was kind of disgusting. I weighed more as a middle schooler than I do now. Being a foot taller, and having a decent amount more muscle, definitely in a better headspace now. Had more fat on me than I'd like, but I think that will always be the case. I used to starve myself then binge but my wife, in the last 3.5 years, has helped me develop a great relationship with food. I can intuitively eat now, and stop before I hate myself. She's honestly the best thing, to happen to me. I was in elementary school, and I was already bullied pretty severely. I was playing nearby the basketball court area, where it was by a small park. There were trees and a few rocks scattered around. Suddenly I feel my head hurt, and my hands touch my hair. I pull back and there was blood gushing out. A nearby teacher who witnessed the bully throwing the rock to the back of my head yelled for help, and to take me to the nurse's office. It ended up with me in new clothing, a bandage pressed to my head, and the parents being yelled at by my mother. I nearly had to get stitches, and I have a small scar on my head as a reminder from that day, I don't remember. If he got in trouble, but I did stay home from school for a while. When I was a kid, we lived across the street from the school bully. Teachers used to hold him at school for 10 minutes at the end of the day, to give the other kids a head start. He went after everyone. He was almost 2 years older than me. So when you're 10 to 11 years old, a 12 year old is a big kid. He bullied me, whenever he saw me. So I spent a lot of time avoiding him, or playing in my own backyard. I was legitimately scared of him. One day I was at home reading a book, and my brother came home. He's 4 years younger than me, so he was 6 or 7. He was bleeding and crying. He had been riding his bike, when the bully stopped him, and roughed him up. He also held my brother upside down, and tried to drop him on his head. My brother ended up falling face down, and cut his face up. He was mostly okay, but upset and scared. I was calm on the outside, but I was really angry on the inside. My parents had impressed on me to play gently with smaller kids and I obeyed them, and was angry, and scared with this kid doing this. So my mom and I comforted my brother, and after a few minutes I calmly said I was gonna go for a bike ride. Once I got outside I immediately went looking for him. He was just a few blocks away at the area park and I remember getting off my bike and asking him if he beat up my brother. He said he had, and I remember actually imploring him to leave him alone cause he was a little kid and he could really hurt him. The bully just laughed at me, and said he was gonna do whatever he wanted and what was I gonna do about it. He had his hands down at his sides and I don't even think he was looking fully at me. I was just so mad I couldn't stop myself, and I stepped forward, and punched him in the face. I totally sucker punched him, but I don't care. He went right down. And I was scared, and happy and still angry all at the same time. I didn't touch him again, but I leaned down, and told him I'd kill him, if he touched my brother again. I believe he thought I meant it, because he didn't bother my brother again. He continued to bully me however cuz, even though I did start to defend myself, there was only so much I could do, but defending myself did help cuz the frequency went down. It was so awesome, when we moved away, 